Tonight on Live from the Theater Basement, director John Propster teaches actors how to audition for a show. What's a director looking for? How do you get the part? Recorded at Theatricos' first Sunday Drama Club. How to audition tonight on Live from the Theater Basement. Ever wanted to be an actor? Theatricos has auditions every other month. Experienced actors are great. We also love discovering new talent. Aspiring actors from diverse backgrounds are encouraged to audition. Everyone is welcome at Theatricos Auditions. I'm your host, Chris Farrell. Tonight on Live from the Theater Basement, director John Propster is at our first Sunday Drama Club with a lot of actors, and he's teaching them and teaching you how to audition and get that part. Here you are on Live from the Theater Basement. So, prepping for auditions, okay? Number one, research the book. So, go to Google and the main Publishing houses are dramatists, uh, Concord Theatricals, and MTI Media Theater. Okay? All right. So you want to get a synopsis and character descriptions so that you know what the characters are, what your options are. Okay, now don't. Uh, our auditions usually say, open to anybody, 18 to 80. <laughs> <laughs> And so uh, don't worry about specific ages. People can play older, they can play younger. It depends on what the director sees when they look at you. So don't, you know, sit there and say, oh, well, all these can't, parts are too old for me. Give it a shot anyway. You know, take a risk. It's okay. All right. So if there are sides available, sometimes we have them, sometimes we don't. Most auditions here are cold reading. So you just come in, you figure out what part you want, and then you uh, read for it, okay? And then as Kai just had an experience with Foreigner, he read for a part and then got cast in a different part. <laughs> so yep. he said, okay, so you have to be flexible, okay? All right, so if you know what part you like to audition for, it's always better, but not necessary. You know, if you come in and you say any, that's fine. Just make sure you mean it. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, so audition happens. You should arrive at least 15 minutes early for an audition. You're checking with the stage manager, who's usually going to be out. Actually, we don't do auditions here. We do them in our studio over in uh, Sunwest Bank building. But you'll check in. You're going to fill out an audition form. Okay, so I want to uh, point out to you so you got your basic information there, how to hear about auditions. What parts are you auditioning for? Again, you can put any, but don't put, I don't know. Because <laughs> it just lets the director know, okay. So we do have people that come into auditions that don't know anything about the show mm -hmm. that they're auditioning for. Any parts you would not accept. If you say no, then mean it. Because, and it's okay, you're not going to have any less consideration if you say, I only want to audition for this part, that's it. Because if the director th sees potential in you, they'll say, oh, are you sure? Are you going along? Can you read for this part? You know, and all that. So, But if you say any, and then they go through and they say, OK, we give you this part, you go, oh, I don't really want that part. Mm, you know, then they'll be upset at you because it's yeah. like, well, why didn't you let me know, OK? This is also very important. You have to make a commitment. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you're a cast in this production or hired as a crew member, please understand you must be available for all scheduled rehearsals and performances. Nothing more annoying than you cast somebody and they say, oh yeah, I can be there for everything. And then one week into the show, it's like, oh, but I have this and I have that and I have this and that, and they come up with all these 
things like that from his rehearsals, and just go, Rrr. So anyway, it says, list any conflict you know between October 1st, November 29th in the evenings, or the first three weekends in December. Anything. It's not a deal breaker. I mean, if you let us know at the beginning you have some conflicts, we can work around it. So, you fill out the audition form completely and honestly, and then you'll turn in the form to the stage manager, then you'll come in and sit down. Just realize everybody else is as nervous as you are <laughs> because they're all there trying for the part. And, you know, it, it, it's competition, but we try to make it more of a friendly you know, type of thing so nobody feels like they lost if they you know. Okay. All right, so the welcome meeting then, director, stage manager will set up how the evening will go. Most auditions are cold readings. Musicals require a song and a monologue. All right, so cold reading tips. You get to side. So the sides are assigned based on what parts you want, okay? And who signed up, say, I want to read for this part and this part. So if you want to read for four parts, then you'll have four different scenes that you're going to read. If you only want one scene and for one character, then you'll just have you read in that. Okay? So you give your partner, you're going to go up, read through the script. So the first thing is meet your partner, introduce yourself. Hi, how's it going? You know? <laughs> and then read through the scene, see what your reaction is, you know, especially if you're not familiar with the scene. Because that's going to be most likely what you want to get across. That reaction that you have, you know, what, what was interesting about it, what was unique, okay? Then spend some time running it with your partner, talking it out. So after the first one, you say, okay, so this is good, you understand what's going on? If you, go, if you have questions, ask the stage manager. They usually will know what, you know what the story is behind it if you're sort of unclear with what the scene is. Should be set up pretty clearly there for you. Then you'll have about 10 minutes to rehearse it. And they'll call you in, and usually it's just a stage man or stage managers out there. It's a director, assistant director, maybe somebody else, and then the two people audition. So closely read through the whole side. Do not try to memorize your lines. This is not what this is about. This is about can you create a character looking at the script? Because God knows you're nervous enough up there, you know. And also read through the stage direction, but don't really pay attention. You don't have to act it out. You know, just uh, give it the best shot that you can. Okay? Uh, listen, listen, listen. Okay? So you want to listen to what's being said. And when you're doing the reaction, that doesn't mean you have to look at them, but it has to be obvious that you're listening to what's going on. Because that's, you know, in the moment. That's another thing directors are looking for. Can you be in the moment? And then... Stay in character. You're going to make mistakes. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Just keep going. You know? And, you know, like uh, I teach an improv class, and, you know, in improv, there's no mistakes. There's only opportunities. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so we celebrate if something goes wrong. We go, yeah. What I have for you tonight are scenes male, female, two females, two males. And we have comic selection and serious selection. So, I need a male and female for a So, the director and stage manager will assign people to certain sides to read. Then you will go off and have about 10 minutes or so, depending on how many people are there for the audition, in order to rehearse it with your partner, see if you can understand what it means, and prep get comfortable with the piece to audition. When you are called into audition, please make sure to state your name and what role you're playing and what scene you're doing. Hi, I'm Jackson Lander. 
Um, I will be uh, playing the role of Andrew in I Hate Hamlet. I am Asin J. Sotelo, after <laughs> service. I'll be playing the role of Barrymore in I Hate Hamlet. Mm, excellent. All right. Your him. Am I? You're <laughs> dead. You know, occasionally I'm not truly sorry to my dad, and just really drunk. Very <laughs> more. Well, yeah, but my father's given a name. Okay, I am Ty, and I will be playing the role of the Reverend Mother of the Monsters. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so very much. Now, just in case there's anyone here who hasn't heard what our little fundraiser is all about, we thought of disaster back there coming. You see, a short time ago, our cook, Sister Julia, um, <laughs> child of God, served some this short. So after you have auditioned, the director will usually give you a couple of pointers or some things they might want you to change. And so then you would go out and practice that and then come back. And that's the purpose of that, is to see whether you can take direction. So that's all the time that we have for this broadcast. Uh, just wanted to give you a feel for what the audition process was like. Hope that you've gained something from it. I want to thank uh, Kai Berglund, who is the uh, producer of the Sunday Night Drama Club, for putting this together. And uh, thanks to the people that auditioned. And I hope to see you at auditions down the road. Check uh, the Facebook page at Theatricos for more details when auditions are. Good night. The Arboretum at Flagstaff, a beautiful destination for local and out-of-town visitors, increases understanding, appreciation, and conservation of plants and plant communities native to the Colorado Plateau. The Arboretum is a wonderful venue for a wide variety of events and educational programs. A special thanks to John Propster, the Outrecoast director and our host this evening, teaching you how to audition. Also, thanks to the actors of First Sunday Drama Club who uh, made that possible. Live from the theater basement, producers Jamie Stanton and Linda Sutero. Engineer Matt Brewer, technician the amazing Ava Haynes. Associate producers Virginia Brown, Joe Maniglia, Michael Roulon. Correspondents Mackenzie Chase, Jamie Asathis, crew Justin Moscow, Isabella Zagari, Dramaturgy, the folks who pick out all the wonderful 10 minute plays that we've been doing, that Dramaturgy, uh, and the, the whole control of the, the artistic content of Live from Theater Basement, Theatricos Artistic Committee, and Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase. Executive producer, producer. Live from the theater basement, streaming live on Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m. Well, not so much live as we wrap up the show, but still on Sundays. And, of course, available wherever you get your podcasts, is a production of the Astros Theater Company, in partnership with Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase and Deutering Films. The Atchikos Theater Company, Flagstaff, Arizona, is the theater company of Northern Arizona and the Grand Canyon. Embracing the spirit of Broadway with such shows like Steel Magnolias, which is running now through Easter Sunday, April 17th. Live from the Theater Basement, the weekly podcast streaming show from Theatricos Theater Company, alternates between 10-minute plays and interviews with Arizona arts leaders and instructions on how to audition. That's pretty cool. If you as a listener viewer have input, we'd love to hear from you. Email us at theater at theatricos.com. Live from the theater basement, every Sunday at 7.30 and available wherever you get your podcast, is funded in part by Creative Flagstaff, formerly the Flagstaff Arts Council, and the Arizona Commission on the Arts. Additional funding from the Arizona, uh, Arizona Community Foundation. I got those transposed. They're both great. Flagstaff 365, BBB Revenue of the City of Flagstaff, Calf Country Radio, and Patrons of the Arts. Thanks for joining us on Live from the Theater Basement.
This is Theatricus. Coming up next on Live from the Theater Basement, Theatricus' board of directors talks about a, fingers crossed, didn't want to jinx it, a new longer term lease that will give the theater an opportunity to do better long term planning, both financially and from a fundraising standpoint. A new lease on life next Sunday, April 17th at 7.30 p.m. and wherever you get your podcasts.